Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to make a short video about my algae scrubber. Uh, after doing my sump swap, I actually had someone ask me, because I seemed a little curious about it. So I was like, you know what, let's make a video of it. And in this video, it's going to show you, I searched YouTube, I searched the internet, I came up with, there's a lot of different things out there to come up with. But in this video, this is pretty much what I came up with after picking through what I think would work best for me and my setup. So, with that being said, let's take a look at uh, what I came up with. Okay, and this is my algae scrubber taken out and pretty much how simple it is. Uh, I end up getting that pump off of Amazon for probably about like six bucks maybe, a little bit more. Uh, and I end up connecting it with a half inch uh, vinyl tubing to a barb fitting going right into a uh, ball valve, which is a half inch. Then I end up using a half inch union. And then after that, I end up going into three quarter. Uh, I end up putting the tee off right here, which hangs by the hangers. And then I actually have my side splash guards. And I have the one little gasket right there with some uh, rubber, with a rubber band. And then these right here are my rings, which actually end up holding my algae scrubber on there. As you can see right here, there's actually holes cut inside the screen, so it actually holds in place. Now I'm going to end up taking it apart and uh, actually scraping it. Figure why I have it out and might as well clean it. And uh, just maybe show you a little bit more on what I use to make it more uh, easier to understand. Alright guys, just a little uh, thing before I move forward with the video. I didn't realize that my editor actually deleted some of the footage. But uh, those rings that I explained about as far as the ones that spin and lock on. Some people really don't know how to make those or exactly you know where you get them from. What you do is, this is a 3 quarter inch pipe. You actually end up taking a coupling that is 3 quarter so it sleeves over it. Now what you do is you actually end up ripping a nice line going straight across thick enough in order to fit the plastic canvas in. Then what you do is you end up taking a chop saw very carefully and you pretty much just cut rings and you obviously cannot use a center part because this will stop it from sliding but you can get probably two out of this side and probably two out of the other side and then you can just sleeve them over the PVC and then Obviously, when you have the cuts and everything in here, it'll just kind of spin and lock in. So for those of you that were wondering where you get the rings at, this is actually where you get the rings at. All it is is a three-quarter inch coupling with a cut down the center and then sliced. All right, guys, let's move forward. Okay, so I'm going to end up taking the screen out for my algae scrubber. Uh, the one good thing about having something simple with these rings right here to make it easy, you pretty much rotate it around until you get to the one open spot like you see right here. Then you can just take your screen and take it right out. It comes out with no problem. It's really easy actually and it holds it in perfect for you. Uh, when you place it back in, you just rotate the ring around and it closes the loop up and keeps the screen hanging there. Um, when the water is pumped up, you know, people are concerned or trying to figure out how the water is coming down. It's pretty simple. A lot of videos, uh, I know that uh, Fisher Hex has a really good video on his uh, when he did his own algae scrubber. Uh, you should watch it. It's actually really good. Um, but you pretty much take a Dremel tool. You know, anything like that that you can, you rip a nice line all the way across underneath here. Pretty much as big as you want this, as wide as you're going to plan on having it. And then you can end up slipping the rings in, like you see right here. And then you can end up, you know, cutting the holes exactly where you want to line them up. And then you can put them right in there, which, you know, works out great. Um, so, that's one thing that actually makes it easier. Another thing, too, it makes it function properly is actually putting some sort of pretty much canopy on here uh, in order to stop the light from actually penetrating to the very top right here like you can see. It actually ends up making it so that the algae doesn't grow in and doesn't start squirting water everywhere kind of like I was showing you when it was in my sump before. Uh, so this is definitely something good to add on to your uh, algae scrubber if you plan on making one. Uh, another thing to consider which some people don't really consider is the fact that water can travel. Now when it's actually sitting up like this Oops. some water can actually end up running underneath here and if you have it on hangers it can actually run across and run outside drip off the side right here usually and that would be outside your sump you definitely don't want to mess outside your sump so I actually end up putting a little gasket right here which works great because sometimes from things growing it might direct the water it runs over hits your gasket falls down back in your tank instead of running along your pipe and then making it outside your sump which you definitely don't want so, like I said, it's pretty simple, it's pretty cut and dry, pretty much pumps water up, sends it through the pipe, 
and then it ends up just trickling down like a little waterfall and growing algae. I have some pictures that I'm going to attach uh, to show you. Uh, pretty much two weeks in on it, well, day one, two weeks, uh, three weeks after that, so uh, about 37 days, and uh, you pretty much saw what I get, you know, every two weeks once it's actually seeded pretty well. So, I mean, it's definitely worked its weight in gold for me. I think it works quite well. I've definitely noticed a difference uh, in my tank after putting this on. Like I said, for the price, you know, without breaking the bank, if it's something you really need, you know, it's not a bad thing to have. Um, another thing, too, I'm sure you've seen on a lot of videos is the screen, uh, the way to prep the screen. Now, the screen itself is actually pretty much, I got this at Walmart. Uh, it's just canvas designer. Uh, it's like a plastic canvas. And that's what you have to really rough up with the sandpaper so that the algae can, uh, the hair algae pretty much, could start to grow on that. Um, you can easily do that with really just a simple piece of sandpaper. I use like 120 grit piece of sandpaper and I roughed it up really good to the point you can see almost like plastic hairs hanging off of it. And uh, that seemed to work pretty well. So, you know, as far as everything goes so far, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's very simple to make, not a lot of money. There's a lot of videos. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, you can contact me. But a lot of people, though, you know, a lot of videos will definitely walk you through and uh, help you out if you have enough, you know, if you need any other help. So, thanks guys for, you know, taking the time and everything and checking something out and uh, ask me some questions. Like I said, feel free if you need any help or anything or, uh, you know, you're working on something. Um, you know, maybe I might know something about it. If I don't, then I'll try to help you out and find someone that does know something about it. But, uh, that about does it for this video, guys. I'm just gonna, um, end up scraping this algae off. Don't mind the pink scrap, uh, scraper. And the one thing, too, to note about scraping this off. When you scrape this off, you don't want to scrape it all the way down to the white. You kind of just scrape it off till it kind of, you still see the hair. Uh, algae on it just a little bit so it still looks a little dirty because that actually helps reseed this again so that it'll actually grow in faster if you scrape all the way down into this you're pretty much going to be starting from scratch again and uh, don't ever let this dry out if this dries out it pretty much kills all your algae on here and you have to start it all over again and uh, this took about obviously about a month to seed uh, a little longer actually so just keep that in mind make sure this always stays wet and don't totally scrape all the algae off you still want to give it a little bit so it seeds a lot quicker. But you can see how thick this is. And, you know, it's not fun to play with, but you know what? It sucks up all the nutrients in your tank, you know, and uh, definitely helps prevent algae blooms and everything. And it is definitely effective. I still run a refugium as well as the algae scrubber, and I still do my protein skimming. Some people say, you know, you don't need it after you start doing this, but I figure it can't hurt, you know, to have a little bit extra. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, like I said, any other questions or anything like that, feel free to ask. Thanks a lot. Have a good one, guys. And there's my algae scrubber back in the cradle, nice and clean. See? And it just hangs there just like that. It does a great job at what it does. Alright guys, once again, can't thank you enough. Have a good night.